psychological consultations help with problems in personal life, at work. They turn to a specialist to establish communication with other people, to understand their inner world. More and more people are aware of the importance of psychological assistance, so opening a psychologist's office is a promising idea for specialists. Such a business can bring a stable income. To open a psychological assistance office, you must first understand the nuances of registering and doing business. In the article we will tell you what you need to start your own project, as well as possible difficulties that you should pay attention to. How to open a psychologist's office, where to start. Professionals who want to provide psychological support often ask themselves the question, is it profitable for a psychologist to open his office now? You should not expect significant profits right away. The best option is to develop your business and simultaneously work in a public or private psychological center, social service. What does it take to open a psychologist's office? Entrepreneurs who decide to start activities in this area must choose a direction, specialization, find and equip a room for receiving clients, register a business, launch advertising of their services, build a client base. In addition to the costs of business development, it is worth considering the costs of training and advanced training premises and equipment. When working out the question of how to open a business for a psychologist, pay attention to the choice of premises. As a rule, clients prefer not to advertise problems, they strive for confidentiality. It is difficult for many to decide to dedicate an outsider to their experiences. Therefore, you should not open an office in crowded places, noisy business centers, more convenient options, a room on the ground floor of a residential building with a separate exit an office in the building of a polyclinic, rehabilitation or medical center, buildings near educational institutions, kindergartens. For individual and family sessions, a small room is sufficient, for trainings, an area of 30 square meters. To equip the room, you will need comfortable furniture, office equipment. An important point is the design of the psychologist's office. Take care of soundproofing. The design of the room should be conducive to trust and productive dialogue. For the reception of children, a play therapy area with soft rugs, toys and materials for creativity should be provided. Another option is online consultations. In this case, it is not necessary to rent a separate room, sessions can be held from home. But you still need to equip the room, make sure that no one is noisy and does not distract you. Legal registration of activities. If we are talking purely about the services of a psychologist, a license is not needed. Only psychotherapeutic activity is subject to licensing. What does it take to open a psychologist's office in a big or small city? To start, it is enough to register as an individual entrepreneur. It is recommended to choose OKVED 96. 09. When registering, it is important to correctly indicate the statistical code, as well as the taxation system. To do this, study the different options in advance and choose the one that suits you. Together with the registration papers, immediately apply for the transition to the desired tax. Otherwise, the OSNO will apply to the enterprise. Documents required for registration of a psychological office. To work legally, it is enough to register an IP. For registration you will need Identification Individual taxpayer number Application on Form R21001 Notification of the transition to the simplified tax system or another tax rate receipt for payment of state duty a package of documents is submitted to the tax office at the place of registration or stay now this can be done via the internet on the website of the federal tax service or through the public services portal documents required for registration what education does a psychologist need to open a business a psychologist needs a higher specialized education the law does not directly require this but a diploma will be needed to confirm that you have the necessary knowledge in addition, specialized courses will be useful. In this area, it is important to master new methods and improve skills. Clients want to get expert advice, so they will ask where you studied and how progressive methods you use. How much does a psychologist earn? If you are going to start your own business, it is important to know whether it is profitable for a psychologist to open his office now. To do this, calculate the costs of starting a business, and also determine the price tag. The cost of one consultation in a small town is about 1,200 to 1,500 rubles, in the capital, over 3,000. A psychologist can see about three people a day. 
A large flow of clients reduces work efficiency. It is important to delve into the problem of each patient. With such a load, monthly earnings will be 72 minus 180,000 rubles. To start a business from scratch, you will need about 100,000 rubles. This amount includes IP registration, purchase of equipment, furniture, office rent. However, education costs are not taken into account. If you have your own premises and a laptop with internet access for online consultations, the initial investment will be minimal. The investment pays off in about three months. The exact figures largely depend on the presence of regular customers, promotion of their own services through special sites. When thinking about how to open a psychologist's office from scratch, consider already at the start it is worth considering the prospects and ways for development. How much does a psychologist earn? Personal qualities of a psychologist. The result of the work of a specialist. The effectiveness of psychological assistance depend on the professionalism, and also largely on the personal qualities of the psychologist. Therefore, in order for 